What's going on guys? In this video, I wanna give you a quick update on the best coaching settings that you can use in Madden 22. We're gonna go over both the best offensive settings as well as the best defensive settings. The reason I wanna do this is because I wanted to kind of break this down once a month just to kind of make sure that you know the most up-to-date tactics that you can use on both sides of the ball. So that being said, we're gonna dive right in this video. Make sure that you subscribe. That way you don't miss any of the important videos. We post offensive and defensive tips and tricks every single day here on the channel, trying to help you uh, get better as we get better. We're trying to learn as much as we can. We're trying to get better every single day in this game. And so if you want the most up-to-date tactics available, I'd encourage you to hit that subscribe button. I'd also encourage you to join our text message membership. Every single week we release uh, free offenses and defenses that we release just to people who have signed up for the text message membership. Now, the way that you do that is you just text the word Madden to the number on your screen, that's 208-218-6900. Again, text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. All right, guys, so to activate your coaching adjustments, you have to be in a game. You cannot do it in practice mode. So I'm here in a play now game. And first and foremost, I want to show you um, my offensive coaching adjustments. So here's what I like to do. Uh, really important. I like to put my deep passing and intermediate uh, catching. Both of these, I like to put these on conservative. I find that this helps uh, kind of in certain situations, specifically sideline catch animations. Uh, I find that this helps a lot. Also, um, it just helps with drops and things like that. Now, I like to leave balanced blocking and then ball carrier. This is up to you. I like to put ball carrier on conservative. Now, real quick pro tip about this is if I throw, like let's say for example that I throw like a quick, um, like a quick flat route to a running back. If I make the ball carrier move as soon as I catch the ball, like we're talking as soon as you catch it, you're going into your spin animation or you're going into your juke animation, you'll still be able to make at least one ball carrier move while on conservative as long as you do it as soon as you catch the ball. So for example, you could throw a quick flat pass, make a quick spin move to spin out the defender and get upfield for you know five to 10 yards. The reason I like to do this is specifically so that I don't fumble the ball or at least limit my fumble chances. I believe that EA should pass this hopefully over the course of the next couple of weeks, but fumbles typically don't happen on conservative. No, they definitely don't happen anywhere near as much as they do on balance. So I would encourage you to put these on conservative. Now I and my I myself and others have still fumbled while on conservative. So just keep that in mind. If you ever want to go to balanced, you can. You can also just and the other thing that's really important about conservative, whenever you're running the ball, whenever you tap the square button to lay down, you can't lay down like you could in previous years. And so that is another reason as to why I personally will sometimes go to balanced in those situations. I also like to go to balanced in the red zone so that I can truck. Um, or stiff arm if needed to get that extra push for the red zone on fourth down situations I'll definitely almost always put this on aggressive just in case I need to fight for those extra yards um, Maybe on a fullback dive or something, but uh, this one's probably the one that changes the most these two are almost always on conservative so those are my offensive coaching adjustments. And I actually have two eBooks out for offense, um, the Bunch Tight End as well as the Bunch eBook. I'm gonna put my website down in the description. So you can go check those out if you wanna get those offenses. Now on defense, these are the coaching adjustments that I personally recommend. Um, for auto flip, I recommend that to be on. Auto alignment, now this depends a little bit on the formation. In this year's game, if I'm defending someone that is running compression, whether that be gun bunch, whether that be uh, gun tight offset tight end, or gun bunch tight end, any of those compression sets, I like to put this on base. If I'm playing somebody that is running like trips tight end or spread formation, then I'll put that on default, okay? So it's either base aligned or default. Ball in air defense, play ball. Okay, I like to put this on play ball um, personally. Another one that I do like is play receiver. And the reason why I like play receiver is because every now and then, you know, you'll just get beat on a play. This helps with catch tackles um, and things like that. So I personally can go between play ball and play receiver. To be honest with you, I probably put it on play ball 99% of the time though. Cornerback matchups are going to be on balance. Option defense, always put this on conservative um, unless they're doing some crazy like triple option RPO glitch. But primarily, 100%, please put this on conservative. This is going to give you the best chance to stop any read option that they might run. 
strip ball. If you put this on aggressive, you're gonna get um, a you're going to get a penalty for face max. So I like to leave this on balanced and try to manually strip the ball if needed. Tackling. Now, if you're playing someone like a Derrick Henry, I'll leave these on balanced. But if you're playing like a running back, let's say like Reggie Bush or like a smaller archetype uh, of a running back, then I'll actually turn this on to aggressive. Um, and I find that I do get more, a few more fumbles every couple of games. But again, you can leave this on balanced and be just fine. Now, the best zone drops in the game. These are the zone drops that I'm currently using um, to defend the most meta offenses like bunch, bunch tight end, U trips, all of those different formations. I like to put my flats on 30 yards to start a game. Um, if I, or you could also put them on 25. And then if they are able to still get over those clouds, you could put them on 30. Um, but either 25 or 30. Curl flats. These are going to be on five right now. And the reason why I like to do this is because it's going to help me kind of contain the flats. Not always going to stop the flats, but I do find that if you put a curl flat at five yard zone depth in the flats, it will do a decent job at taking them away. I'm not saying it's going to completely take them away. I'm saying it will do a decent job at taking them away. And then lastly, I like to put my hook curls at 10 yards. That's about where most of those post routes and deep in routes are going to be breaking over the middle of the field. So I find that 10 is really best or even to put them back at default. So those are my defensive coaching settings. Now, real quick, a little pro tip. Please experiment with the safety nickelback package out of the nickel 335 normal. The reason why I like to suggest this to people is because it's going to give you um, the outside third adjustment that you can put your safeties on. So if you're running a Tampa 2, you're going to be able to put your safeties on outside thirds, which will oftentimes even help even more so with things like corner routes and wheel routes and crossing routes and all of that stuff that you're probably facing. Thank you for watching this video. And again, I have a website where I release uh, offensive and defensive eBooks. And I have um, I have two offensive eBooks out for next gen, two defensive eBooks out for next gen, as well as an eBook out for current gen. So I'm just gonna put my link to my website in the description. You can go over to the website if you wanna get any of those guides. Um, they can help you get better at offense or defense. I know defense is really difficult this year, but I've been getting a lot of good feedback on my defensive guides that they are really, really helpful to people as far as helping them not only be able to get the best pressure in the game, but also be able to get really, really good coverage and start locking down people on the defensive side of the ball. Thank you for watching this video. And like I said, if you want to get any of the guides, um, go ahead and click that link in the description, head over to the website and grab whatever one that you want. Thanks for your support. And we'll see you guys later.